If your uncle, you and your friends are suffering from neck pain, our shoulders are numb, our whole arm is numb, we've lost arm strength, and I feel pain in my entire shoulder. Do not ignore yoga exercises for neck pain right behind you. This is the exercise that can has be applied for therapeutic yoga classes and have been guided for over 15 years, helping 10,000 students change your health. These exercises, there are many friends of Kim BA, it's the doctors in recovery therapy, have shared and LAN radiating for a lot of doctors' patients to recover after the treatment process. And of course, we don't want to get worse. Right, that's why we should practice consistently every day. And this exercise is built by Kim Extremely Bae. simple design, easy to do. So anyone, including us, never practiced yoga we before, we can totally follow the exercise. It will feel good right after the training. Just give yourself 30 minutes. Let us spread. So just let this exercise be done. Then your uncles and your brothers and sisters can use carpet. But of course, this exercise doesn't have to be a carpet. We'll do it right at home. Being in bed is totally possible. Yes. And right now, we're going to start with neck therapy Mickey yoga. Mickey B.A.S. shoulder. And first, your brothers and sisters. Sit cross-legged. Sit cross-legged. With AI for the first time. If we do this exercise, we will continue. Combined with a breath. It's slow breathing. Breathing is simply breathing in and breathing out. Special. We're going to pay a lot of attention to the up breath. When we breathe out, our bodies are soft. The muscle bundles will relax. And we combine that with stretching to be able to release all the tension for the muscle bundles, the joints. Let it be restored in the most natural way. Is that okay? And then we'll start with a cross-legged position. We sit cross-legged or one leg up and one foot under. Keep your back straight, keep your back straight. Two hands on the knees. Two hands on the knees. Hold still, inhale a breath through the nose. Pushing his chest forward. Pinch your lips a little. We push the neck up. Breathe out. Keep your head down and your back down and breathe out. Repeat, inhale straight up. Push the chest forward to open the entire chest. Slightly pursed lips, push the neck skin upward. Breathe out, bend your head and curl up the good man. Repeat, breathe in, push your chest up. Let's push the neck up. Breathe out, bow down, curl up. Three more rounds of inhale straight back. Push the chest forward tight lips. Breathe out, bow down, curl up. Keep breathing in straight back. Push your chest forward. To dilate the chest cavity, this breath will go deeper up. Breathe out. Bow down and curl up the good man. One last time straight back. Push the chest forward, push the neck up. Breathe out, bow down, curl up. Slowly straighten your back. The last movement supports our breathing deeper. And stretch the neck. Where it gets clogged up, that we feel a lot of burning Is she in this right? area. Then we go to the next position. Our hands are on each other in front of us. Two hands on each other. Inhale straight up to hands up. Fingers straight up to the ceiling. We rise high. Reach hands over the head to stretch the entire shoulder area. Push your chest up and slightly raise your chin. Breathe out. Push elbows to the sides. Hands to the back of push the head. Push your elbows to the side. Press your elbows close to your body. Down. 
If their eye is numb, we feel that our hands are very relaxed. It's very pleasant. Repeat, hands on each other. Breathe in and rise up. Reach hand over head push up chest. Breathe out and push your hands to both sides so that the height is up and pressed close to the body. Put it down right. Pay attention to stretch your breath. To stretch rest chest. It's going to stretch the shoulder blades or forward this here. Or numb fatigue. Elbow joint. Repeat. Breathe in and rise up. Push your chest up. Breathing out pushes elbows to the sides. Keep your elbows close to your body. Put it down, right, three more rounds of inhale. Reaching out. Breathing out pushes elbows to the sides. Two more rounds down. We put on each other, breathe in, reach out. Breathing out pushes elbows to the sides. Pressing the elbow against the body. Down one last round, hands on top of each other. Breathe in and rise up. Push your chest up. Breathe out. Put your hands down, right. Now inhale to hand net in front, to hand net in front. Breathe out, turn your palms up. Push stretch hand. Hands behind. Slowly breathe in. Keep your position. Stay in place. It's easier for people to imagine when they're spinning. Inhale to hand knit back to hand knit back. Breathe out, push your hands away from your back, push your chest up. Repeat slowly, let go. Inhale to hand knit in front. Breathe out, turn your palms up. Breathe in slowly. To hand knit back or knit back. Breathe out, push your chest, push your hands out of your back. Slowly let go of our hands again. Inhale to hand knit. Breathe out, turn your palms up. Breathe in slowly. To hand knit back to hand knit back. Breathe out, push your chest forward. Push your hands away from your back. Slowly let go, slowly let go. That's right. Slowly let go. Inhale to hands reach sideways. Left hand down, right hand up. It's really tilting to the left. We're adjusting the left elbow to stretch the right flank. Let's stretch the right hand. Inhale up, left hand up, right hand down. Push back up. It's really tilting to the right. Turn your head and look up. This feeling of stretching and this left flank. Breathe in and lift up. Right hand up, left hand down. Ha! Ah. Tilting to the left. Breathe in and lift up. My left hand is up. My back is up, my chest is up. 
Let's tilt to the right and turn our head up. It stretches the entire left flank. Inhale and raise your back straight. Smile a little. I love to wrinkle my Relax whole face. Relax forehead. Right hand reached out. It's so slanted. Turn your head up. Turn your head. Push your chest up. Look up. Inhale up. Left hand up. Right hand down. It's really tilting to the right. To more rounds. Breathe in and lift up. Kick hand to sideways. Right hand reached out. It's on the left. Breathe in, lift up, left hand up. Breathe. Right side, turn your head up. One last round, inhale, lift. Is hand strain? Right hand reached out. It's on the left. Right hand out. Good side, which inhale raised. Left hand reached out. And tilting to the right. Turn your head up, turn your head up. Slowly lift up. Put your hands down. Two hands on your knees. Keep your back straight. Now let's turn each head to the side. Keep the shoulder. Is to relax the soft shoulders raw. Loose soft to shoulder. Keep breathing in. Turn your head to the left. We're looking down a little bit, looking at the shoulder bridge. Breathe in and turn this head. We're twisting and twisting and straining the neck. Turn your head to the right. Repeat. Breathe in and turn your head. Breathe out and turn your head to the left. Relax your shoulders and turn each head. Breathe in and turn your head. Breathe out and turn your head to the right. Keep breathing in, turn your head around. Breathe out and turn your head to the left. Change sides, breathe in, turn your head. Breathe out and turn your head to the right. Slowly turn your head, slowly turn your head. We've got to hands together, fingers on the shoulder bridge. Touch the shoulder bridge. Breathe in, we touch elbows close together. If possible, touch each other. Push your elbows up straight to the ceiling. Push your chest up. Push your chest up and breathe out. Pushing elbows to the sides. We turn the same round and lower our shoulders. Repeat inhalation. Push your elbows straight up to the ceiling. I push my chest up. Breathe out. Pay attention, let's turn the hand. It just stretches the shoulder bridge. It loosens And release it. blockages in our shoulders. Repeat inhalation. Push up straight like hands up and chest up. Breathe out. Put your hands down three more rounds. It's very easy to do, isn't it? Keep your elbows straight to the ceiling. Breathe out. 
it is more than two rounds to inhale. Push up your elbow. Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Push your chest up and breathe out. One last round of inhale. Breathe out. Then we put our hands down. Right hand to the right. We dot with our fingers. Keep your fingers straight. Keep your hands straight. Then lower the finger where it's touching. We're in position. Straight back up. Then breathe in and raise your left hand. Slight touch near the right ear. Breathing out we tilt our head to the left. This left hand is just pulling a little bit. Push your chest up. Stay here and breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Every time we take a breath, we try to think of this shoulder position. The one with our shoulder blades. Breathing out. We'll be slightly loose and far away it's from our It's got to be a little further down. Push your chest up. Everyone take the initiative to breathe. What it feels like, it stretches the entire right neck. Push back up. Feeling of tension in the entire right neck. Every time we breathe out, we focus our I'm hands far away underneath. from the finger below. Watch your back, don't hunch. One way push up for straight back. Sit up straight. Then slowly let go. From which side left hand down keep back straight. Breathe in right hand reach out. I'm tilting my head to the right. Breathe slowly. When we breathe out, we think of the shoulder area and relax all the muscles there raw. The hand below us is far away. Breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Relax forehead. Loose face raw gets tense. If AI is more standard, when do we practice? Let's relax it better. People even feel the tension along the entire arm with those numb eyes. The way it feels all the time from this bicep. Up this shoulder bridge. Then we loose the finger underneath row. Let's go a little further. It will stretch very, very deeply. Then slowly let go. And then breathe in, hands up. To hands up right hand extend left elbow. Push your chest up. Breathe out, pull your left elbow behind your head. Stay here and breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Every time we breathe out, we can increase the tension by pulling the left elbow close to the back of the head. Push your chest up. Push your chest up. Breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Relax the face raw and relax the face raw. If you hold it we for a feel while, numbness in our entire left it's arm. It's not cool. Just hold it. It's relaxing. Change which side inhale we let go. Left hand holds right elbow. Breathe out. Put your right hand behind your head. Looking straight ahead. Slow your breathing. Slow your breathing.
the left hand is holding it. He's pushing his left elbow back. He's opening his chest. Give us the habit of sitting up straight. It's often us who have neck and neck pain. Or the habit is to put your head down a little bit when using the phone to work. So its neck is under load and it's getting tighter and tighter. Push your chest up. Slowly let go of your hands. Does anyone feel numb? Breathe in our hands and we put them back to hand knit. Breathing out pushes your hands away from your back. Push your chest up. Stay here. Stay here and breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. This movement looks very simple, but if the eye that our hands can't push away out of the back, that's a clear sign. Is that our shoulder straps are very the stiff. The chest cavity is very hard. Is the rate of cervical degeneration or elbow or shoulder ataxia. The things that are very special are very high. It should be the average person. The hand we have to push away about from a the gag. back. That shows us the flexibility of our joints. Now hold the same hand. Look at this. Move the left hand. Touch the right side. I don't know if it's coming. Many people with big waists don't come. Just touch the back and close to the right. Push your chest up. Keep your right hand on your head and take a breath. In fact, we pull our head slightly to the left, to the right, sorry to the right. Breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Push your chest up. It continues to stretch into our neck region. Then slowly lift up. We keep our hands together. Now I look. Turn your head to the right at this 45 degree angle. Keep your neck straight and turn your head to the right 45 our degrees. Our hands are straight up. Put the top of your head directly on your forehead. Take a breath. Now we bend our necks. Breathe out. Notice we're spinning our necks. We're not spinning. The tension is now going down the shoulder blade on the left. Behind this, in the right position, we are often tired. Our hand strength is slowly increasing. Breathe slowly. Slow breathing is straight back up, straight back up. Relax forehead. Relax shoulders. Slowly lift up. It's nice to put our hands down, isn't it? Now switch sides, breathe in, and knit your hands to behind hand your back. back. Breathing out pushes your hands away from your back. Push your chest up. Slightly raise your chin. Stay here and breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Relax neck. Relax your hands. Really boring. Slowly close your hands. We put our right hand on the left. Back up, breathe in, left hand up. Breathe out and tilt your head to the left. Stay still and breathe slowly. It stretches the entire right neck. Push your chest up. The hand above is called a light touch. Our goal is to connect with the breath. When you breathe out, you are soft. I'm going to lean a little bit. Keep your back straight. Breathe slowly.
slowly let go. Now we turn our heads. Turn to the left at a 45 degree angle in this direction. Turn each neck. Turn each head. Inhale. It's our hands straight to our faces. SO straight. We bend our head down to the chin close to the chest. Push your chest up. Breathe slowly. People choose to do the tension. Stretch to the right shoulder. Breathe slowly. Notice the force in our hands. Just pull a little bit. We pull hard. Then it makes the muscles tense up. It's counterproductive. It's just a little relaxing. It'll be Everything nice. Everything has to be enough. Put your chest up straight. Slow down, let go. Inhale to hand net in front of to hand net in front. Breathe out, turn your palms up. Push stretch hand stretches the whole body. Slow down, hands down. Hands down is very comfortable and keep going. Inhale straight up left hand up. Push your chest up. Move your left hand sideways. Put your palms forward and breathe out. Breathing out now we raise our palms. Come out and bend your palms, not all the palms. The hand and the. Our arms form right angles. It's kind of like pushing that air right and filling your chest up. Right now people will feel the tension. It's all over our shoulder blades. It part is shoulder part chest. Our location is very tight. Stay here and breathe in. Actually, you turn your head to the right. Stay still and breathe slowly. If you want to stretch, we keep putting our arms behind us. Push your chest up. The feeling now is to stretch the whole arm. Especially those who are you paralyzed. You will feel this movement very clearly. And every time I breathe Then out, we keep turning our head to the right. Breathe slowly. Then close your hand. Ha ha. Does anyone feel numb? Ha ha. Change sides. Breathe in. Right hand straight up. Reach up high hand sideways. Breathe out our palms out we stretch. The hand stretch the hand. Push your chest up. Take a breath. Breathe out and turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the left. Breathe slowly. Breathe slowly. Really boring. I want to stretch. We put our arms behind us. It stretches more. Of course this movement. If someone holds my hand and pulls it, I love it. Then slowly turn around. Put your hands down. You can shake your arm if your arm is too numb. I shook it slightly. And then breathe in, two arms outstretched. Rise up arms parallel to each other. Breathe out, hands down. Repeat inhalation to hands up. Parallel arm. Breathe out, hands down. Inhale again to hands up, parallel arms. Breathe out to hands clasped. Keep your head down. And just now, we've finished our homework for today.
Well, with the duration, it only takes 30 minutes a day to be sure. Conditions of the neck, our shoulders and our arms will fix it in a very effective way if we maintain it more often. And remember, musculoskeletal problems. In addition problems. to training, my uncle, Brother, we sister. also have to adjust our habits. For example, adjusting the pillow. Why is it not too high? It's not too hard. Or are we? Is it air conditioning or cold? It keeps your entire neck warm. And habits like don't lie on your side before going to bed. Before going to bed, we use our phones. Right. When we are done, we hold. Then the next morning, we'll lock it all up. Her neck. We're so focused on the phone, so we're stuck in our neck. In addition to habits such as work or bend over. We always remember that the mantra is to keep your back Can straight. Can you straighten your back Here's up? the exercise. It's very simple. But Kim B.A. is applying to his students. Remember that. You don't have to do too much yoga. It is important that it is true enough and repeated frequently, the effect is increased. So in today's exercise, if you're done practicing, more comfortable, if you feel better, please comment below. And to cheer for others and to cheer for the spirit, Kim B.A. continues to build new yes, exercises. And structure. And structure we comment as follows. The first thing we will comment on The day is. I trained. Second city I live in. The third is a feeling of people. Today's post is for Kim B.A. too. Or it's a question. People need to be answered in more ways. The comment is also. That's your question right below this video. Right below this Kim B.A. Exercise. continues to build solutions. To support people in a way. Is it better? And see you again. Brothers and sisters in the video. Share next. And welcome. Great recovery change of people. Hello.